Phoenix 777 and I'm here today to tell you a little bit about well why you saw some of that sword testing on my channel now I've been doing stuff with these particular swords for a while this is the same sword I had that I was testing well not the exact same one the same model the exact same one I have is actually in my uh, fiance's possession as he's probably going to murder it considering what he found out about it um, I'm actually doing this one as a commission for somebody that wanted this sword. They were actually the one that requested me to test it. I don't consider these to be that bad of an, a sword. They usually come with a red jewel affixed. I've already removed this one. You probably saw it in the thing there. They're usually just glued on. They'll pop off if you put a screwdriver down there and hit them with a hammer. Easily comes off. Now, I gotta say the blade on these, really nice. Never had any issue with it. The biggest issue I have is usually fingerprints all over the blade, and then I have to use stainless steel cleaner on I actually filed this one down. I'm sure you can see that there's paint missing here. Sometimes they don't get these seams completely flat, and I tend to be picky about that. I'm sorry, I'm OCD. You're going to do a model. Dude, shave off the pieces you got that are upraised. They're not supposed to be there. Those mold marks should be gone. Anyway, this one I'm going to be modifying. After I get it done, I'll probably let you see uh, progress on it. I may do the entire progress, but uh, there's going to be lead put into this bowl piece, and I'll put some lead blanks up in this handle. The client requested it to be more balanced, and right now this sucker's not very balanced. I had it balanced the other day. Let's see if I can find out where it balanced again. Right about there. That's nowhere near where it needs to be for balance. And I think anybody that knows, well, swords knows that usually you want your balance back here. I'm My goal is to get it back to here, but I don't know how much weight I can add and not screw up this handle. I would just infill the handle with lead, but the problem is it's plastic. Lead takes somewhere around 400 degrees. I have no idea what this plastic is, so I really can't tell you if you could handle it. Other than that, now this client has a very particular taste, so it's not going to be like that. But I'll show you my personal sword. I don't have the other one I got back from Denmark, who I can't ship to because they're stupid. These are apparently weapons, even though they will probably break. This is my personal sword that I made. This is actually the first one I made. Before I realized this was a plastic handle and it could come apart. Now, I never clear coated this sword. As such, some of the paint has suffered. I've had to retouch it. The handle here looks like it's been worn, but I actually like that look now, and I'll probably just clear coat it just to keep the enamel from rounding off any further. Now, I put a Swartsky Fire Opal in here. These are harder to find. I had a whole bunch of them, but this one has a silver backing because it was made to be a standalone piece. The ones I got a hold of don't. I mean, they'll still look good, especially if I paint the back part of the jewel area silver, but I fear that the effect is going to be lost to some degree. I just glue them into place with a heavy adhesive to make sure they don't pop off. And all this is hand painted. I don't cheat in any way. The only ones that I have ever spray coated have been the black ones. And there's a reason for that. These, because they will color change in intense light to that purple tone that you see in Twilight Princess and Skyward Sword, I have to do it by hand. I could probably use an airbrush as long as I use the same paint, but I honestly don't have the money to be buying a good airbrush, and that cheapy one, yeah, that's probably going to last me maybe a month. So I hand paint all of these. This has a layering a paint so that it will reflect. I don't know if I can get a, anything that will do it right now. Yeah, flashlight maybe. I'll tack it on at the end if I actually get it to do it. Anyway, a lot of people have said they don't really like the 
the look of that. Well, that is just something I wanted to do. This actually has a lot of detail in it. As you can see, it's got the triangles here and a lot of details that you miss when you just buy one that's a solid paint color. And I never agreed with that. As far as I was concerned, especially in Twilight Princess, it always bothered me that this sword ended up being dissed so much. I mean, the handle, yeah, you had green here, and you had the blue, and you had the gold, but come on, it could add a lot more detail, and if you looked at Zelda's sword that she ended up dropping on the floor, my gosh, that was such an elegant sword. Understood, your hero doesn't necessarily need an elegant sword, but he needs one that looks cooler. Like, okay, so you spent more time on her sword than this one, and this is supposed to be the best sword in the game. Always confused me. But anyway, I actually did a little bit of red in between here, if you can see that. It should be reflecting. That was also an enamel paint. I actually got a hold of one that was in non enamel after the fact, which I wish I had used because it was a pain in the ass. But anyway, that's uh, what I ended up doing, and I've sold quite a few. I don't have a personal shield, but I do shields as well. Um, I don't make any as of yet. See if there's some. There we go. Um, they don't like to stand up. That's why they had the wall mount. But I don't make any of these as of yet. I would like to find a supplier closer to me. I actually just end up ordering them from a group, and unfortunately, they're all coming from China. But I am checking in with a group that's local to see if they can perform a casting for me. And I will be modifying this sword, obviously, um, if I do the casting. Because, well, one, I can't copy it directly, do the copyrights, even if they're international. But also because there's a couple of things I would like to change about the sword and actually get it to... I don't know, resemble a little bit more, and maybe not be so dangerous, because honestly, if you hit your hand on these, you will know it. I guarantee. You will kill yourself on those. I don't know how many times I have scuffed up my hand because I accidentally hit one of those side wings. And for me, that was just a, a deal breaker on this particular sword. I'm like, okay, if I do a casting, rounded. <laughs> it will be rounded. Now, this is a directly Twilight Princess sword. Um, Skyward Sword kind of followed that model, but I'm sure you all know, Ocarina of Time didn't. Now, I did do an adaptation of the Ocarina of Time, one that is mostly blue, using the same sword. Unfortunately, most of the swords that are made to look like the Ocarina of Time sword are pretty crappy. I've run into some that, I mean, if I can bend the blade with my hand and make it permanently bent, it's crappy metal. If I wanted that, I'd buy another one of those swords that fell apart on me and I had to glue back together. And I'm sure it's just as bad. I'm pretty sure the blade would come out on it, just like my sword I have over there that was not even meant for battle, at least that one was sharp, but I had bought it a long time ago. And yes, the blade fell out. Now, if you all didn't realize it, this is not a tang at all. It's not even a half tang. It's just coming in far enough to have a pin lock it in place. When I did my test, I knocked it loose from that pin. It's got a weld holding it to its handle. And it's only welded on one side. Which means it can easily break. And after looking and measuring, I figured out I can't reinforce it the way I would like to. The original idea was to drill right through where the jewel sits so I could hide my drill mark. Put a bolt through of some form, cut the bolt off, let it reinforce it. Well, that's not going to work. Because unfortunately, that's exactly where that weld marks. At. And I can't drill through the weld. And if I drill anywhere else, you're going to know I did it. So, unfortunately, 
that idea kind of got thrown out the window pretty quick when I did some measurements. Yay for math and not screwing stuff up. Well, anyway, if you all like this video, let me know. If you all don't, I won't do any more reviews of random swords I pick up for games. I think we all know when they're junk and when they're not. I just try to make them look better. For now, this is Silver Phoenix 777.